I want to ask you about, about that deregulatory push and your effort to try to get some of those regulations mm -hmm. back in place. But first, over the weekend, have you had any conversations with regulators about additional banks at risk of failing? I, I'm not going to talk about private conversations, uh, but I think, let, let me be clear about what I'm calling for right now. Um, I'm calling for an independent investigation of the Fed and the whole regulatory system here. The Fed doesn't just get to do its own investigation. I'm calling for the Fed right now to reverse its weakened regulations and to bear down, to look at these banks with much more scrutiny. And then I'm also calling on Congress, as you rightly say, to roll back the ability of the Fed to weaken regulations and calling for these CEOs to be held accountable so that we have laws in place to get clawbacks of their bonuses, of their giant salaries. And when you explode a bank, you ought to be banned from banking forever. You think we could see criminal charges? It depends. I think there will be investigations. Department of Justice has opened an investigation. I think that's appropriate for them to do. We'll see where the facts take them. But we got to take a close look at this. And look, we got to say overall that we can't keep repeating this approach of weakening the regulation over the banks, then stepping in when these giant banks get into trouble. You know, little community banks don't get this benefit. They got to run their shop every single day to make sure they are safe and sound. Their regulators bear down pretty hard on them. It's these giant multi-billion dollar banks. It, uh, there was such an irony that Gary Becker came to Washington and said, weaken the regulations because we're just like those tiny little banks that can't pose a risk to the overall economy. But, but and me, if I can ask you. That's obviously not true. If I, if I can ask you, though, that, that deregulatory sure. move in 2018 was supported by a number of your Democratic colleagues who still uh, defend their votes. I mean, Senator Bennett uh, said it was a bipartisan compromise. Gene Shaheen, Senator uh, Shaheen, has, has defended it. And Angus King uh, is, has said that, that reimposing the capital requirements, as your bill would do, uh, to, to, uh, to, to roll back that deregulatory move, uh, could uh, push small and medium-sized uh, banks out of business. How, how do you respond to your fellow Democrats who are not on board with so this? So remember that in 2018, uh, the bill that was passed had a lot of different provisions, mm -hmm. including a lot of provisions that lightened some of the regulations, made life easier for the community banks. And there were people who supported the bill because of that. The part I'm concerned about is called Title IV of the bill, and it's Title IV that says these multi-billion dollar banks, these banks with $50 billion or more in assets should have lighter regulation. Those are the banks for whom the principal uh, regulator is the Federal Reserve Bank. And those are the banks that took on these risky practices that ultimately have, it appears, blown up at least three banks. And, 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 and those, that's yeah. the provision I want to see peeled back out of the law. We need tough regulations. You got more than $50 billion, right. then by golly, you ought to be subjected to stress tests and decent capital requirements and so on. All right. We're